right, so I finally got some free time. I'm going to make this video real quick here for you. All right, let's get into it. So hedging. As for hedging, you can hedge at any time. And it, it's it's always best to pick a pair. Uh, obviously, this week is not the greatest week, but I'll just pick um, UCJPY. And as you can see in the daily chart, that this pair is going up, right? You can see the uptrend ever since, you know, the beginning of this year. It's been uptrending ever since. And there's a lot of resistance here seen at 161. Even though it's creating new highs. So what I like to do is, is that I'm going to narrow this down. Now, I know we got FOMC here. It's about to happen in like five minutes. So bear with me. So anything could anything happen at this point. Um, I wouldn't hedge during news because you're really not going to make much. You probably end up losing more money. But when you're following a trend, I always do micro lots, right? 0 0.01 buy and a 0 0.01 sell. And that will give me a, a direction to where I, whether I want to stack multiple positions on that particular currency pair or whether it could be on gold, commodities, um, you know, metals, or even indices such as Wall Street, S&P 500, or NASDAQ. So for instance, that we're on the US dollar, Japanese yen, I'm gonna place two positions right now, and I'm looking to see what if the direction is gonna keep going up. If it doesn't go up, it creates a lot of resistance here at 161.9 up here, then I'm gonna end up, you know, stacking positions you know to sell it back down for tokyo sessions right so that's another way to go off of each session every session has a trend and if the session doesn't have a trend there's a lot of consolidation and normally i would hedge uh this pair i would also hedge gold as well i like hedging gold to see where gold's going to go uh, especially based on the four hour chart, especially when when there's not much movement, not much consolidation as well. And even though that gold is still on, let's see, let's go back to the daily chart here. Even though gold is still up, there's so much consolidation between this price between 2300. So it's in the middle, right? It needs to somehow break through all this like uh, out of this zone here. So we know that the high for 2,400, but the low of 20, uh, I'd say about 2,300. So from there, you know, we're looking to see if gold is going to even structure itself to go back up again to retest the highest price to break higher. If it doesn't, it's going to end up selling it back down. Eventually, it's going to reverse itself. So that's another key component to pay attention to, especially when you're hedging. Uh, when pr prices are stuck in the middle, and you don't know what to do, that's another great way to hedge your position. That way you don't have to be trying to put a, that way you don't have to put one big position and hold on to that one big position. And, and you're hoping that maybe it'll go your way. And if it doesn't go your way, you're going to end up losing more money. With hedging two micro law positions, one buying position and one selling position, you get a chance to see a direction of where things are going in that session whether it be New York session, Tokyo session, or London session, or if you want to hedge the whole day and see how the trend worked out for you for the daily trend. So whether it be on the daily chart, right? Or the four hour chart, every four hours. So I like hedging uh, gold and USDJPY the most. Uh, sometimes I'll hedge indices if, if it like, like for instance, like Wall Street doesn't even know where it's going right now. Um, S and P and Nasdaq are booming. They're, they're still uptrending, and so just be very, just pay very close attention where this is going. Uh, like I said, you don't know what to expect, but like I said, you can't go wrong hedging with just two micro lot positions at point zero one, one buy and one sell. You know to see if you if you feel more comfortable with that. You know testing those positions to see the direction of where it's going to go and following the trend. And if there is no trend, there's a lot of consolidation and tight, narrow price ranges. All right. So I hope this video helps you out. Other than that, uh, if there's any questions, let me know in the Telegram. All right. Peace out.